Hi and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking a bit about product photography. This is one of the things that you actually get into quite quickly because to be honest it's just a lot easier to find something around the house that you need to take pictures of. So I'm going to be going through two different kinds of product photography and they're the simple kinds, they're the indoors and then they're the outdoors. I have to apologize for the light of course because to be honest the other camera that I usually use uh, to film is my photography camera and I'm actually using that for photography right now. So I'm using my small handheld uh, Sony that I talked about in one of the previous videos. So finding something to take pictures of isn't exactly hard. You can actually find something in your own home. A lot of people own a whole lot of old things that they've kept through the years and just never thrown out. Some of these things would actually do well to, to try out the product photography. So what we need to do is to find something to practice on. So the two main things that I've found are whiskey, which is one of my interests, and um, cameras. <laughs> and I've tried to portray this in a way that's uh, kind of different to just a regular shot with a white background or a black background. Honestly, it's just this is just to practice on. This is trying to get the light right the exposure right, the f-stop right, just to make the picture nice. Now if you can't find anything at home to take pictures of, you also have the option of going into thrift shops. There is probably a thrift shop close to you, which you can go in and find something really, really cool in. I've actually done the same today, and that's because I needed a table. So what I did was I went out and I bought a really, really old uh, piece of wood. I'm pretty sure it was uh, shelf or something and then I've made it darker I've painted it so it's really really nice and rustic I'm looking over there because it's, it's, it's over there and that's gonna be the, the the bottom of these rustic product photography pictures that I've taken so I'm gonna quickly show you how I did the product photography in my own home I don't have a big studio or anything I just have my office which I remake or revamp into a, a little home studio so let me just show you really quick. So what I've taken is I've taken two large sheets, put them on the wall, so it makes a nice background. Now as you can see now, it just doesn't look that good. Um, but in the picture, I promise it will look really, really great. And what I've decided to take a picture of today is this, the camera. The camera itself is boring. So what I needed was I needed something to put around it. I found a couple of things and I went out. So the table that I got is this, which is just a regular thin piece of ply that I've made a bit darker. I've put it on a little vanity dresser to keep it steady. And that would be the base of the pictures. So it's nothing that's really obvious, but it is something that's important in my opinion. So the books here, the books are not actually something I own. I borrowed these from some friends of mine who have uh, an antique bookstore and they actually made a really great addition to the picture because it, it gives it that rustic nice look. Otherwise I've also taken a whole lot of playing cards, I've taken some dice trying to get in that gritty mood, I've taken a flask and this which is actually an antique music box that I got from my now late granddad. It's actually also a flask to be honest. <laughs> things combined actually made a really really nice dark moody kind of picture that puts the camera in focus so everything around it isn't really taking away uh, the the focus of the picture I keep saying pictures can you notice picture 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 so setting this up I actually took around about 50 different kinds of pictures in different kinds of places you have to remember move your camera around move your lighting around and try and see if you can find some different ways that your photo will look really, really nice. It's uh, a process and it takes uh, an hour or two of your time, but the picture itself will actually be pretty nice. And with a little editing in Lightroom or Photoshop, whatever your preference is, you actually get a really nice photo. Right, so the next picture we're gonna be taking today is uh, an outdoors picture. Let's just get the light right here. Yeah, right. Unlike the picture from the studio, this picture is gonna try and see, I'm gonna try and see if I can get some of the elements into the picture. What we're doing here is we're actually gonna be taking a whiskey shot, trying to make this really cool uh, woodsy kind of woodsman feel. The whiskey that I'm, uh, that I'm gonna be taking a picture of is called the Old Pulteney. 
and that's a really nice strong whiskey. So I'm gonna quickly show you a setup as soon as I get it ready and then we'll go on to taking the pictures and then we're gonna head back home where it's warm because it's kind of cold out. So. Right, so I just finished setting up. Now it's a quite simple shot. I've taken some pre-shots just to see if I can get it right. And some of them were good and some of them weren't. So what I've done now is I've just put it up here. I'll show you. It's a simple shot. I've got my whiskey and my whiskey glass. And I've got a really nice background. So I'm using uh, the 50 millimeter 1.8 from uh, Canon on my 770. Um, I'm doing it handheld because I tried it with my uh, my cam link, uh, and I just I, I couldn't get it right. So I'm doing it handheld. So I'm just going to take a couple of pictures before the bottle falls over, and I'm going to give you a chance to see what it is I'm doing <laughs> as well. So I mainly uh, I mainly take pictures with uh, the screen out. Um, I don't use the eye very much, mainly because to be honest, I just don't think. I get good pictures like that. Well then again, I do, but it's nice to be able to see what you get. So if you have a camera where you have a screen and you have the option to turn on the screen, then do so. So what I do is I fix it up a bit, see if I can get the right angle, make sure my product's all set well. And also make sure that your ISO is set if you're taking pictures in light like I am now, now we're getting close to golden hour, but it's not there yet. But when you're taking pictures in light like I am now, make sure that your ISO is rather low. It gives you the option of, uh, of getting rid of some of that grain you get with a high ISO. I also have a uh, shutter speed at around about 100, or 800, sorry, which is 800th of a second. second. And um, my f-stop is at 3.2. So I'm getting a nice, blurry background but not too blurry if you put it down on a 1.8 it's just too much so getting the pictures here I can show you right now you get something like this I just noticed the whole time I was making this video um, that there is a vagabond or a, you know, a highwayman sleeping in the shelters behind me. So now there's it's spring, the, shelter, the, the shelters get filled a lot with vagabonds. Uh, and I'm all for it. I mean, if you, just, if you choose to be a vagabond, if you choose to be a nomad, good on you. It's, 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 it's all for you. Um, not for me. <laughs> I like my home, I like my TV, I like my camera, I like my bed. I hope I wasn't disturbing you. Now that you've seen both images, I'm kind of hoping you would leave a comment in the comment section down below and tell me what you think of them. If there is something you would have done different, uh, maybe you would love to uh, see the picture a bit darker or you would want some more background in the outdoors picture, or maybe you want to take away some of all the things from the uh, indoor picture. Uh, try and make it a bit more simple. I have taken some more simple shots as well. Uh, I haven't put them here, but you'll probably see them on my Instagram. Um, tell me what you think and, and, and let me know in the comments. So that'll be all for today. I hope you got something productive out of uh, this video. Please comment down below. Please hit the subscribe button and remember to hit that little bell to make sure you get all the notifications to when I upload a new uh, video, which I do every single week around about Sunday, Monday depending on where you live in the world. Um, and, and make sure you hit uh, the like button, because we really like the like button. And I'll see you guys next week for the next video. Thanks for watching. My name is Sean Lunsgaard from Sean L. Stills. Catch you later. Picture, 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 picture. Picture, 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 Photo. Oh, no. oh, no.